Hello everybody, this is meteorologist Andrew Panero with another weather update. I was out earlier this morning, if you caught my little couple minutes of a live stream. It was snowing earlier this morning. Some little flurries. I made a joke about accumulations, but the <laughs> some flakes were accumulating on a barbecue that I have, but that was about it. Nothing really stuck. It was just a nice little pretty looking flurry action this morning. We're not really going to be seeing any of that more for the rest of the day today. And then we also want to talk about the Thanksgiving forecast, your travel day on Wednesday, Thanksgiving day itself, and going into Friday and the rest of the weekend. So let's get started. Let me switch over to my main computer. Oh, before I do switch over, I do want to talk about yesterday. There were some power outages and I think I had a power surge. So I have a battery backup so I can run my editing computer and if there's a power outage, I don't lose the work right away, I have time to shut it down. That battery backup failed with this power outage, so it might have surged it somehow. They're sending me a replacement battery, so that's good, but for right now, I don't have any battery backup. I just have it plugged into a power strip, the computer and then the server I have. So, interesting, but that's the weather. Unpredictable in some spots there, but we try our best to make it the most predictable. So, let's take a look at some of these predictions and the satellite radar there. So now let me switch over. And you'll see here on the satellite, we had some clouds earlier this morning, but it's clearing out pretty much. There's still a few passing clouds here and there. If you also notice, these waves, these are kind of something called gravity waves. They're associated with hills. As the clouds roll over the hills, they kind of have this buoyancy thing, like waves in an ocean. That's kind of what the clouds are doing. So it's interesting to see that. And then on the saddle, uh, on the radar, the very first few frames here, there's the last little bit right there of the snow shower. So I had to turn on, uh, turn off the ground clutter filter for this. Otherwise it didn't really show up too well. For instance, let me just show you real quick here. On this is just called expert mode, but when I turn that off, see it doesn't really show anything. I turned that back on, this expert mode, and now it shows more. So typically this is filtering out what's called the ground clutter, which is the radar picking up like material objects that shouldn't show up on radar. So it does filter that out, but in some instances on very, very light and very thin precipitation, like those little flurries we had, it actually filters that out thinking it's ground clutter. So showing all the ground clutter here, you can see the little bit of flurries. Didn't last too long and that was pretty much it. Nothing more and then beyond that, so when I pause this on the current frame, all the rest of this around, this is all ground clutter. So that's normally filtered out, but also it was filtering out the flurries, so I had to allow the ground clutter in to show you the guys the flurries. So now let's take a look at some of the forecast models. So with the GFS, we're going to look here. This is the rest of the day today with those isobars very thick or close together. It's going to be very windy still. Not as windy as it was yesterday with the power outages and power surges, but still breezy. Then it starts to die down a little bit. Then take a look at your day on Tuesday. It picks up again. So overnight tonight, not as bad, but tomorrow these isobars do get... Uh, the tightly pressed together, the pressure gradient goes up, and then not too bad, it's pretty dry, it looks like, no precipitation here on the GFS. Now we're going to start looking overnight twos. This is about 1 a.m. on Wednesday. There is this shower chance, it doesn't actually show, it's hitting in the middle here. Eastern Long Island, Twin Forks area there, that does get a little bit of rain, and once you get up near Albany, this is showing some frozen precipitation, snow. Well, a little gap in the middle. So I'm still going to say a spotty shower chance if you're around the New York City area or going a little bit into, say, Fairfield, Connecticut. Then once you get more north into central New York, that's where you could see a little bit of some snow showers again. And this is for Wednesday morning. So for the travel day on Wednesday, there could be some spotty showers, although it looks like to be on this model, at least more so in the morning. Then it clears out, so this is the afternoon, still lingering there on the Twin Forks of Long Island. But it's still going to be a little bit breezy with these isobars pretty close together. Then for Thanksgiving Day itself, this is about 7 a.m. Thanksgiving. These isobars, they are still tightly packed over the ocean. It starts to 
get a little bit better over land. That all depends on the position of this high pressure. If it's a little bit closer to us, the high pressure means we will be getting calmer conditions. So let's fast forward a little bit. So now this is going into the afternoon. Still doesn't look too bad, maybe a little bit breezy, but dry overall. So by the time the parade's over for the Thanksgiving, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, it looks to be not too bad. They may just have to lower the balloon's flying level a little bit, the altitude, but I don't think they're going to have any problems with that. Then going into Friday, this is about 1 a.m. Friday. I don't know if anyone's going to be lining up, but it's a possibility for those Black Friday sales. And now this is 7 a.m., so these isobars do get tightly packed again ahead of a high pressure so it's going to be a little bit breezy again and these blue dashed lines this is where you see the 540 decameter thickness line so this is not directly related to temperature but it's indirectly related to temperature without getting too much in detail with that Basically, this is where we see the freezing point in the upper atmosphere. Doesn't necessarily mean the freezing point at the surface in the fall. Once we get deeper into the winter, the upper level of the th thickness there for the freezing point tends to be about the same as on the ground. But for right now, not necessarily. But, so it's going to be cold and a little windy if you're going out early on Black Friday for any of those Black Friday sales. Then taking a look at Saturday, this high pressure kind of skirts right to the south of us. And then this next system comes in. This looks like it's going to be more so Saturday afternoon. Looks to be just a little bit of some showers. It's going to be cold showers. But it's also going to be a little bit windy again. These isobars stay pretty tightly packed together. Then for Sunday, let's see here. Looks like it's still around the area. Once you get more north, this is where it gets colder to support that kind of flurry action going on. But that's really about it. Spotty flurries, it looks like. Maybe just some spotty showers on Sunday. So I just want that's about as far out as I wanted to go right now with the, um, the holiday forecast. That was the GFS. I also want to show you on the IBM Deep Thunder project here. So this is also showing very tightly packed isobars, so very breezy. This is tomorrow afternoon, so it looks dry. And now, right there, that is 6 a.m. That's 5 a.m. on Wednesday. So very north, this is showing the colds to come down a little bit more than what the GFS was showing for those little bit of some uh, snow showers, really, in central New York. But then getting a little bit more south, it could be just some spotty showers. So the travel day, definitely keep that in mind if you're traveling around the tri-state region. Spotty showers, or if you go a bit more north, maybe some spotty snow showers. Then when we go ahead here onto Thanksgiving Day itself, that high pressure does come in a little bit more. So it doesn't look as breezy because these isobars are further apart. I'm still going to say it's going to be a little bit breezy, but I don't think enough to shut down the balloons. They're going to definitely fly, it looks like. And it's going to be still pretty nice, nice and dry, but still going to be cold. Then for Friday. So let's go. This is 1 a.m., 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 a.m., and 7 a.m. It's not as breezy on this model, but it's still going to be, well, it feels like it be cold. Now this might shock you, but the IBM Deep Thunder model here, this has a full-blown storm coming through. And I'll stop it right there. So this is showing about, that was, this is about noon on Saturday. A line of some showers coming through, but if you look, that's about Sullivan County in the Hudson Valley. It's turning a little bit frozen so frozen precipitation there up in canada this pretty much this looks like all snow when it's coming up around the top side of the low pressure then coming around the back side here this is where we're seeing what's called wraparound snow over the great lakes there's a little combination of this wraparound snow and lake effect snow so it looks like some uh, flurries over there but then when this goes out uh was that it that was it that's the end of that forecast model so this goes out as far as 2 p.m. on Saturday. So, some spotty showers for the afternoon on Saturday. Maybe some flurries. And the last one I want to show you, which doesn't go, which is the shortest, is the NAM. 
So tightly packed isobar, so it's still going to be breezy throughout today. Then Tuesday looks to be dry. Here's the afternoon. These isobars still tightly packed, so still breezy. Wednesday now, here comes some precipitation. It still shows something where there's this dry slot here. I'm still going to say, though, there is a spot shower chance, or if you get a bit more north, a spot mix or a flurry chance for Wednesday. So keep that in mind for the travel day. Thanksgiving Day, let's go right about here. So that's 7 a.m. The high pressure is a little bit further away, so these isobars are a little bit closer together than the other forecast models. So maybe it's still a little bit breezy, but again, I don't think this is really going to affect the parade too much. Then going into... Friday. This actually this doesn't go out as far. This goes as far as Thursday night at about 7 p.m. So for Thanksgiving Day itself, still looks to be dry, just a tad bit breezy, and that's about it. So let me now switch back to my main camera. And that was pretty much it. I just wanted to give that quick little weather update. So just to prepare for the week ahead with the hollies, just wanted to get that out there. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get to it this week, but I do have a new exhaust system in my car as well. I'm going to try and get a video up there of the time lapse of me putting it in and some neat new sounds. So this is meteorologist Andrew Panero. Enjoy the rest of the day. Just be careful with the breezy conditions over the next few. Have a great day.